I'm going to really move, quickly move us on to our last segment. Um, Guillaume, you have a, uh, a segment on uh, your social media called uh, Coffee with Guillaume. Uh, and Please. we've got a little feature we're going to bring you just to ask you a few questions called um, Tea with JB. So uh, we're all the JBs. And <laughs> that, that good name, guys, you happy with that name? Yeah, that's that's fine. Oh, well, we should fine. call it what was the guy who sent in the cut of the uh the question or the sent in the it's like old man uh, old crabtree old crabtree old crabtree that's yeah, that's <laughs> okay tea with old crabtree uh so um i, I we have a few little questions we've got a couple of minutes so we'll try and um mm-hmm. run through these quickly spurs fan cards the table as i mentioned you and you and potch are pretty tight was he ever close to coming back this summer <laughs> Ooh. I, like, I like that giggle. <laughs> He's under contract. Oh, the, mm. a lawyer's response. Yeah. Where's your magical realism now, GM? <laughs> <laughs> so that means a bit. There was, there was something, whatever you, know, you want. Don't, whatever don't, you want you, to me, James. But everyone's a mean. Okay. okay. <laughs> you can't okay. push it. I can't push it. I can't push it. But that, yeah. I'll take some comfort from what I interpret that as. So, uh, <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I'm happy now. We've got Conte, which is which is nice. But um, yeah, it's very exciting. I mean, you must have talked to you. You must have had an incredibly busy summer, Guillem, with all the so many players you wrote books about. Uh, Ronaldo was on the move. Messi was on the move. Poch wasn't. Rafa was on, on the contract. Rafa, yeah, of course. There's so, you, you must have mm-hmm. been asked to do so. Are you, are you tired out from having to do that? Uh, one thing that my brain has helped me to develop my career uh, is that I don't remember things. So if you tell me I was busy, I probably was, which is okay. good because, <laughs> yeah, I remember one thing that I was on my way. Uh, I was driving, uh, I flew to uh, London and uh, or Manchester, Manchester, I think. And uh, I was driving to Edinburgh because I always get lost in the, in the, in the fringe. Yeah. I always had six, seven days. Um, I've got a little dream of one day, you know, have my own play there and maybe one day. Oh. But uh, oh, I go, Kim, I go if, and if you it. need if you need help with like a comedy routine or like <laughs> yeah. flyering, like Do we've all done. Jack? Yeah, yeah. Oh no. Hey, come on. <laughs> I'm putting this out. <laughs> Sorry, you sent me We up. could okay. do a double act together. <laughs> Oh, that'd be so good. Because guys will just help me with the <laughs> French play. Okay, yeah. you, send, you send us <laughs> your notes, we'll turn happen. it into the play. Yeah, that's what we'll yeah, do. That's we'll, yeah, yeah. Um, so, and then it was like, oh, I need to go to Paris. I need to go to Paris because uh, it's going to happen. Yeah. And it's like, but is, this is my week where oh, I need to go to Paris. So I had to cancel the hotel and everything. I drove to Paris. And uh, it was a good idea to do because I, I had the chance to speak to, uh, to Leo. And uh, in, a, in a kind of five minute slot that we were given. Uh, but because I kind of went a different angle and talked to him about, you know, if he remind, this reminded him of his first move from Argentina to Spain and then about his kids and everything, it kind of went viral and, uh, and probably will go into the CBS documentary that we're doing as the second one after I worked for CBS about the Champions League. So right. all in all, you do things, you don't know why you're doing them, but, uh, but it came out really good on that, on that occasion. Amazing. That's, it, it, I mean, I'm glad that you've had a moment, though, even though you might not remember it. It sounds like you have been very busy, so it's good that you've had a moment well, to sit down. Just we, think we, of the fringe shows you could have seen instead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's so much better. I know. Um, a few questions about the people. We had a lot of people ask about Biggles Wedge United, who you mentioned earlier. Um, we had Matthew Brazier, Follow the Trawler, sent some questions about that. Follow the Trawler said, this is going to be a tough question to answer, but what gives you more joy, writing, being a pundit, or being chairman? Chairman. Yeah, Ah, no yeah. doubt. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it comes on the back of uh, we lost 18 games in a row. We just go on our first game of the season last weekend. That's the men's first team. The ladies are doing really, really well. And uh, and yeah, uh, it's been a very, very tough year because the FA moved uh, the first the men's first team from leagues. So you know the, the power players all mm-hmm. left, all of them. And this is on the back of two years where we're about to be promoted, but COVID stopped the league. So that, that made life very, very hard and very difficult. Um, but then you look at the ladies and they're progressing really well. And this is a project that we started not, not so long ago, four years ago. Plus the uh, youth, the academy also kind of establishing itself as a, as a good place to, uh, for kids to come in. And, you know, the volunteers keep growing. We've got a media department. I, I, we were in Sky Sports News today for a four and a half minute slot because we introduced wow. our last, latest signing, which is... Uh, it's 
Sorry, Guillaume. So today we were on Sky Sports News and uh, we had um, Gary Cottrell coming over to, the, to our ground, the Kitch Hospice uh, Care Stadium, and, uh, and we were introducing our latest signing, which is Ansu Fati's brother, Brian wow. Fati, who is uh, oh, 24 cool. year old, who rescinded his contract with Barcelona two months ago to come over and, and stay, uh, stay a year with us. Uh, and that's the kind of club it is. I mean, I feel a sense, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that a lot of what's happening in Britain now is about closing doors and not opening them. And uh, in our very, very, very tiny little way, this is a place where everybody's welcome. And that yeah. means everyone. So we, you know, women's football has to, has to grow and has to be protected and looked after. Um, people that want to come over as coaches, because we had in the period that I've been at the club since 2014, we had Spanish coaches, Italian, South African from the United States, players of all kinds as well. Uh, and that's, that's what uh, the club is about, is, uh, is inclusive. Uh, we, uh, we also had uh, Dave Nash, the number one graffiti artist in the UK, okay. uh, who is local, and he was doing a, mu a mural of, um, of Marcus Rashford and, and Emma Hayes, who I found out is the first, uh, the first one that is, and she was very humble oh, cool. and, and happy that, that we did that, because also they were they, they role models, aren't they? But yeah. they represent also what we're trying to do. And, uh, and that is so rewarding when you have an idea of what you want to do and then people embrace it and f feed from it and help it grow. Uh, there, is, there is nothing like it. There is nothing like it. And of course, results have been bad. As I said, um, have, all the players left apart from one, George Harlow, who I love. Thank you, George. Um, everybody else left. Yeah. Uh, but guess what? Six of them are coming back and uh, that will be our six best players of last season because they changed the WhatsApp group from let's go to Kempston or whatever they were going to <laughs> let's say Biggleswade United. Oh, so wow. it is amazing. Honestly, it's really, really because I was talking to one of them, uh, the, the, the striker, Charlie Clayton. I said, well, well, why did you come back? Oh, we couldn't get Biggleswade United going down. As you can imagine, in the table, we had, uh, I think it was 14 games, zero points, and we lost 10 1, 9 3, because we started using under 18s and under 23s and players that weren't good enough, but they were the only ones we had because we appealed and the season started almost as we heard the appeal, etc. It's been really tough, but they're coming back. Uh, so, you know, football at that level, it's not just about winning and it's not just about money. Mm -hmm. So it was very, very good to see. Well, we spoke to um, Spencer Owen of Hashtag United uh, a while ago. Uh, remember last year, wasn't that, guys? I think we spoke to him. And he I, similarly... I can't tell anymore. <laughs> you can't tell anymore, yeah. At some point <laughs> in, during the pandemic. And it's similarly so uh, so passionate about it. And it's, it's re it is really great to see that this this level of enthusiasm. And I guess, is it, is it less stressful than the writing the book sort of things? Uh no, I, I I deal well with stress. I don't mind it. Uh, okay. it, it. It's a motivator. It's a good. Uh, it's a good petrol. Uh, and yep. and this is. I mean, I've, I've seen people crying uh, in the last few months, crying and and stressful and and unable to sleep and 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 unable to eat that kind of thing. Honestly, because once you're involved, it's the biggest thing. It is the biggest thing. Uh, but for me, it's not just the result of the weekend. It's the is the whole picture. And uh, and I, I I look at the as I said, the amount of volunteers are growing and more people coming to the ground and, and Dave Nash does a mural for us and, and Brahim Afadi comes and join us and Sky Sports News comes in and, and, and I'm just, wow. But yeah. I'm telling you, to the three of you, if you had two hours of your week, just two hours of your week and you have a local club, give them two hours of your week mm. and it will come back um, with much more that you'll give them, I, I, I assure you. Jack, I think your local club is Tottenham, actually, isn't it? I'm pretty no, sure. No, Even as no, an Arsenal no, fan, no, I'm pretty no, sure they're the closest club no, to where you are. Sure. <laughs> I know. I hey, Chelsea, Chelsea City for life. They're my, they're my boys. Uh, you popped Tottenham. Uh, but yeah, carrying on with some other questions, uh, we had uh, a couple. Well, South Sandrew asked, uh, "Would you ever write a book on Marcelo Bielsa?" Uh, he was he was interested by, and then he also asked a second prong question. After that, which was, can Xavi emulate what Pep has done uh, uh, at, at Barcelona, ever being part of that DNA? So, one, one a bit more contemporary, one more uh, a possible a possibility. On Xavi, no, he won't emulate it because it's impossible to copy the best team in the world ever, yeah, uh, and uh, and a team that changed history. Yeah, but uh, I think he's got good foundations to be a coach that will bring success to Barcelona in the medium term. Let's not expect too much uh, too early. In the case of uh, 
Bielsa, I had the plan to do a Bielsa book, and then I realized that somebody else was doing a Bielsa book, and he's, ah. he's much better placed. He lives there, and uh, and he has come out really, really good as well. So I uh, I said no, I won't, I won't do, it. I won't do that. Uh, okay. And instead, um, instead, I can't tell you yet, but uh, it's the one that I'm, I'm working on at the moment. Ah, so we, yeah, we, we know, we know who it is. Don't we worry. Figure it out. We figure it out. Yeah. That, 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 <laughs> yeah. It 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 just sounds that 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 that's that's very exciting. So I was going to ask if you're working on something else. Um, but, but cool. How, how far? Very, how, very early is stages because we 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 decided on the subject, and then we went like no. Hmm. And then now we're thinking maybe. And I got a meeting on Monday with uh, with my editor, and my uh, my uh, agent, and we may just um, go for it. But meanwhile, you you have to start conversations, uh, of and, which I've done. So nothing written, nothing. So no, so Maribel has got any notes yet. But uh, very early money. stages. Very early stages. Of yeah. This. Very okay. Early. Cool. Well, we'll, we'll keep. We'll, we'll watch this space. Oh, no, watch no. this space. Well, no, we don't. We don't actually know James. We were just we were carrying on with our James. Oh right, Paul Konchesky. I'm no, hoping it's. I'm hoping it's to say, yeah. If you need titles, uh, sound the conch. It's <laughs> the worst title ever. Yeah. <laughs> Even the well, ones that we had. That not, is... if, not if it's a comedy book. Yeah, yeah, true. Hey, yeah. whoa, hang on. I only this whole thing is only. Slams, slams, it is Paul Konchesky. Yeah, yeah. And, and actually, uh, one last question I was going to ask, uh, which was sent from Tash, who's normally on the show with us. She says, uh, "Guillaume, how do you pronounce your name in a Stoke accent without offending you?" I think she was very concerned if she came on that she was going to mess Stoke up. Stoke accent. I can I can do Liverpool accent, but if I spend an hour there, because that's where I learned my English. Okay. But Stoke accent, no idea. Impossible. <laughs> Impossible to do. That's the answer. For, uh, no uh, idea. You will always offend him. Yeah. Sorry. Don't even try. <laughs> He's a very offensive person. Anyway, um, the book is out now. Maradona, the boy, the rebel, the god. It's amazing. It really is a great book. If you love football, if, if, you, if you love books, it's, it really is a brilliant book. We all loved it. Uh, make sure you go out and buy it. Thank you so much for coming on, Guillaume. It's been, it's been an absolute pleasure. Really has. A pleasure. I, I really enjoyed the last four hours with you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, our, look, our, our phone didn't explode. It's not our fault. Uh, <laughs> please, um, please do, whenever, whoever you're writing the next book about, please do come on again uh, when you've done that. And we'd, we'd love to chat to you about it. Anyone has any thoughts on this episode or any questions for us, follow us at Footy Book Club on Twitter, Football Book Club on Instagram, or on our Facebook page. Guillaume, thank you for joining us. We'd love to have you on. We'll be back in a fortnight with the excellent comedian Maisie Adam, who'll be reading Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank's autobiography, Jimmy, with us. Guillaume, thank you. Any last words, anyone? Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, what a beautiful, what a beautiful way to end. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Really thank you so much. much. Uh, us Thanks too. Much, us Guillaume. too. Thank you so much, Guillaume.